Good morning, my name is Sasha Robinson and I am a graduate student at Eastern Illinois University. Today I will be talking to you about improving iron deficiency among young women. And it is very important that we learn about this topic this topic because 7.8 million women between the ages of 18 and 24 in the United States are affected by this deficiency. So today I'm going to talk to you about some how it develops, some of the causes and signs and symptoms that you can be aware of if you feel these that you may have this. And then I'll be talking to you about food sources that you can eat to improve your iron status. So, so to begin, iron deficiency develops when the amount of iron in your blood is insufficient to make hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is a substance in your red, in your red blood cells that carries oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. And this gives you energy to do your daily activities. So to move on, um, some of the causes that may occur that may develop iron deficiency is women have a menstrual period every month and when you lose this blood you're losing a, a large amount of iron. Also, women aren't intaking enough iron in their meals and so today I'm going to tell you different ways that you can improve this so then when these causes do occur then you'll know what to do. To move on, some of the to move on, some of the signs of iron deficiency is when you go to the doctor, you may have a blood work done, and one of the first things that is done is your hemoglobin. And if this comes back as being too low, then doctor may say that you have an iron deficiency, and he or she may tell you of different things to do. Another way is you may feel a fatigue or weakness, or you may um, have shortness of breath when you do vigorous activities such as exercise. And there's also another thing of having a strong desire to eat ice. So if you do feel these symptoms, it's very important that you tell your doctor so you can talk to him or her about it. One thing to go about it is food sources that you can eat to improve your iron. And there are certain foods that have a rich source of it, such as green leafy vegetables, and that includes spinach, um, broccoli, kale, or collard greens. And I have spinach right here. And may, some people may not like the taste of spinach, but there's different ways of putting it in your food to disguise it, but still getting all the nutrients you need, such as making a lasagna and putting spinach in it. Or you can have a salad with different vegetables. You can have a stir fry or pasta. Another food source with a lot of iron in it is beans and legumes. And one way to remember legumes is right here is in pinto beans. They'll always be shaped as a kidney, and that's one way to remember. Another thing that you can eat is red meat, even though a lot of women during this age of 18 to 24 don't eat a lot of meat. But it is important that you try to incorporate it in your meals. And then one thing to remember is to eat something or drink something that has vitamin C, such as orange juice and it increases the absorption of iron. And what this means is when you eat something and then you have vitamin C in it, it will intake the nutrients that you need and utilize it throughout your body to absorb a lot of it and not lose it. So with these food sources, you can remember that you can increase your iron status and it is important that if you do feel the signs and symptoms of maybe weakness or you may be losing too much blood, then you should tell your doctor to increase this. And these are the different indicators that you have of iron deficiency and how to improve them. Thank you for watching Improving Iron Deficiency Among Young Women. And if you need more information, you may go to the American Dietetic Association at eatright.org, or you can go to the USDA.gov website. Thank you.